Once you've worked through the parallax tutorials that describe how to control your motors, once you've centered your motor, your servo motors, and have made your robot move around a little bit, it's time to go back to our uh, program that we've already written and add this functionality in the form of a function. So the first step is to include the servo library, just like you did in using the parallax tutorials. The next step is to declare the servo objects. Again, this should not be new. Once you've done that, the next step is to uh, attach the servos. And now we're ready to create our function. A function is just a snippet of code that we're going to use uh, over and over again. And I'm going to do that by going right above the setup function here and typing something that looks just like void setup, but it's going to be called void forward. It has parentheses that follow it, and has an open ellipse, it has a closing ellipse. Everything that's going to happen, it, whenever I call this function, it's going to do everything that's in between these ellipse, ellipses. So, I would like it to move the left servo motor. And I would like it to move it for 1500 plus, and I'll say power. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a power level up here so that I can change my power easily in the future. The power can go up to 200. I can go, I can, instead of having 1500 plus 100 like I'm about to do here, I could make it 1500 plus 200 um, and that would make the robot go up maximum speed. The reason I'm not doing that is because down the road, we're going to want to be able to um, slow, or, slow down or speed up that motor so that it uh, straightens the robot out using feedback from the sensors. Now here, because the orientation of this motor is different, I actually need to subtract power to get it to move in the same direction as the left motor. Alright, so now that I have my forward function written, it's time to actually call it. I don't want it to start as soon as the robot starts, so I'm going to call it right after the robot starts. All I have to do is type the name of the function in the parentheses and hit a semicolon and it should work. We'll find out here. And it looks like everything's working just as expected. Both wheels are turning forward.